is up everybody it is cj plays here and i am back with another sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at jericho now this world is kind of like a two in one type of situation so let me tell you all the story of this world okay maybe it'll make some sense so you have this part over here so this section of the map over here is known as old jericho it was like an old settlement and it was kind of like lost in time but people were happy and people just living their lives right <laughs> but then one day someone made this red bridge and then they also started to construct large skyscrapers modern homes and just a lot of nice fancy new stuff so <laughs> that's pretty much the story of this world you have like the old side the new side the name of this world reminds me of that tv show if anybody ever seen the show jericho that on tv kind of reminds me of that i mean i don't know i also took my lighting mods out when i seen the screenshots on Martha the sims which is where i got this world from i'll leave a link down below it looked a little like dark a little little grimy here and there a little little spooky kind of so i decided to take out my um lighting mod just so we could see a little bit better so if, if, if you wonder why my game looks a little bit dim that's why but to get this world to run you will need world adventures ambitions late night generations and pets so you really only need like what five expansion packs so you don't really need all the 11 or anything like that i don't don't think you need any stuff packs or anything like that and i don't think you need any custom content but anyway y'all let's go ahead and get into it now as some y'all can see there are quite a bit of houses here and there we have some houses over here there's some over here we may not get a chance to look at every single last house i will show off as many community lots as we can because i try to get those out of the way because you know i feel like most people probably want to see the community lots so let's go ahead and we'll start on like this side so this is like the old jericho we'll start over here on this side and then we'll go over to the newer side so let's start down here at the benville common so let's go on, let's check this down let's check this out all right y'all right off the bat we got this really big pond over here and it's a little bit you know the, the grass is a little bit overgrown but i feel like it's all right you know you could hop behind that grass probably but anyway <laughs> so you have a pond over here where you can fish you have a pick uh you have like a bench over here you have what is under this gazebo can we like go down real quick so underneath the gazebo you have some chest tables which is pretty good y'all know i do love a good skill building skill building item and then over here in this little courtyard you have a grill picnic table and some places to sit down so if you want to like have a little picnic or something you could definitely do that out here all right let's go over here so over here let's see we have a fountain with some hands i like the hand sculpture you have a place to sit over here one to sit over there you have a food truck and a subway station so i mean if you want to get around you can get around here <laughs> but you def you definitely have a food truck which is a nice touch i don't really use the food trucks all that often when i play sims but i do like the, the fact that they exist because you know they're just they're, they're cool to have let's check out the lot that was like right beside it so we have the forestdale community garden all right y'all so right off the back this is giving me the fall vibe y'all know i love fall vibes i love fall time i love autumn i love all that this is giving me the fall vibes okay and it's almost september so it's fitting i guess <laughs> so let's just scroll down really quick to see what's inside of this i don't know if this is a oh it is something on the inside wait what's up what's in here turn on all lights oh the bathrooms okay so you have bathrooms in this corner and you have like bookshelves so if you want to come and get a book or something to read you could do that and you can come and sit out here actually in this little courtyard oh can we like bring the walls back up so we can see yeah this is pretty cool so you have like places to sit over here you can sit over the sit under the overhang you can also grill something out here relax over there and then out here is the actual community garden so let's see what do we have growing we have some garlic and some tomatoes and some canterlot <laughs> grapes we have a plum tree and oh there's also a money tree back here wait a minute y'all there's a money tree back here come to this lot if you need money okay i need to i need a money tree in my name or legacy challenge right now now like hello <laughs> and for youtube and twitch y'all so out here outside of the gate you have a fire pit and you have like another pond over here where sims could fish but i don't know if there's any like fish planters i don't see any, i mean any fish spawners out here so you might have to place those down if fish don't come naturally and let's see we have the forest play park wait a minute y'all this is like kind of, this is a a nice park like hello wait a minute this is kind of a nice park you have this nice bridge now i don't know can sims actually walk across this y'all i'm gonna have to test this out because i keep seeing like people build bridges but like are they actually accessible i'm not sure i mean i assume you can because this is a telescope right i don't know you have a telescope over here you have a little playhouse swing slide you have like a little area over here maybe for like toddlers you know you have a little toy box that's you know fenced in with the xylophone and the blocks and you also have like a sandbox over here which is pretty cool so yeah sims can come and play in the sand oh and look you also have another food truck <laughs> and another subway thing all right y'all let's keep moving i want to check out this building it was like literally right behind it so let me let's go back to the map really quick oh this is a dance okay it's like a dance club or something so it's called the new gambit rooms so let's just check it out and see what it looks like on the inside because the outside looks very unique i do like that little checkered design but let's go ahead and scroll down because i'm curious to see what it looks like right off the bat we have like an upstairs balcony where sims can come and eat out at or sit at and there's a place up here where you can sit also but let's go ahead and just scroll down and see. Let's just go all the way down. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and I zoomed down. When you walk in, you have like an arcade machine, bathroom over here in this corner. There's actually like a downstairs, which we'll check that out in a bit. But you also have like another arcade machine over here. You have a big room <laughs> for chess tables and bookshelves. So if you just want to come and read or play chess, again, build your skills, y'all. You can build your skills over here. 
<laughs> you can definitely do that in this room. Let's just go down because I don't know what's below. Maybe this is like the dance floor, maybe. So when you come down, you have like a TV with a game console. So maybe this is like the gaming room because you have like the couches with the TV and game consoles. You also have the computer. So maybe this is like a little computer room where you can play computer games or research or whatever you need to do. You have a foosball table. Oh, you have VR rooms. Wait a minute. I didn't even wait, 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 wait. Can we bring the walls up? Yo, there are VR rooms. I didn't even yo, I was honestly just thinking it was an empty room at first. But this is the VR uh object. So you can your Sims can use this and be in VR. Like that's so cool. Yo, this is this is really cool. You even have a coffee machine, so if you want to stay awake and not go to sleep, you could definitely do that down here. There's like a, a cool area down here, but let's go ahead and go upstairs and then go upstairs again because I want to see what this is. So when you come in, you have a bar, so plenty of places to drink and eat and all that. You have a dance floor over here with that design, y'all. I, I like that design. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, a little dizzy. I mean, it makes me a little dizzy, but I do like it. <laughs> it's a really cool design over here with the wall speaker and the effect, the effect machine. You also have the bubble blowing station, more places to sit. So if you want to get, you know, a meal over here or something, maybe you're on a date, you could definitely come and eat over here. And then you have a bathroom over here in this corner. Again, you have the upstairs balcony. So your Sims can actually come out here through the doors and eat if you wanted them to. And then at the top, you have like a little lounge area. So, you know, you can have your Sims come and sit over here on the sectional and listen to some music, maybe dance if they want to, you know, sit over here. And then you have some more doors that you can come out and and just chill oh this is like a um like the giant size chest because you can these are like the pieces that came with world adventures i don't know if you can actually move these i don't think you can move these but these are like the pieces from world adventures that you can slide around so this is like a, a lifestyle chest I, I didn't even notice that at first <laughs> but anyway y'all that is cool this is a cool lot like if you need a, a nice place for your sims to come build some skill items or just relax come there all right so let's keep going on let's go ahead and check out the station reading rooms and then we'll check out the gyms gyms gym <laughs> all right y'all so right off the bat these two buildings look extremely similar like they're all almost 100% identical. <laughs> I mean, they uh, kind of are on the outside, but I can see some differences on the inside. But let's go ahead and check out the library first because I want to see what it looks like. So let's see, when you come in, let's see, you have like the front desk over here. Is that like a register? Okay, there's a register in here too. Okay. <laughs> you have tons of bookshelves, you know, places to sit. I do like the aesthetic in here. It gives me like that 70s vibe, kind of. And I'm kind of down with that. <laughs> I like that. You also have a bathroom in this corner. There's a back door that leads up to our stairway that goes upward. I guess we'll have to see what that is. But let's go ahead and go up a floor to see what's upstairs. So when you come upstairs, you have... Okay, so you have like a room where you can like practice architectural design or just paint if you want to with this table that came with ambitions. You also have a, another room over here with a computer and some chess tables, more places to sit down and more bookcases as well. And then you also have like a little kitchen -y type of area. Like there's no fridge or stove or anything like that but you do have like countertops a sink and you have like the coffee machine so kind of like a kitcheny area and a place to sit maybe it's like a little break room or something like that but you do have that and then there is something else above it so let's go upstairs one more time oh okay so there's like empty space up here so if you want to like build more up here you can or maybe you want to have like a librarian that lives at their job you could definitely do that here if you want to <laughs> so you have tons of space to build the gym's gym because I, I really want to see that and i love that name like gym's gym like come on <laughs> anyway so let's see so when you scroll down you have an indoor trampoline yo they have an indoor trampoline in here that's pretty cool anyway <laughs> we have an indoor trampoline you have the treadmills and you have the weight machines over here places to sit down so you know your sims could just take a breather if they need to you have a mirror you have bathrooms in this corner and then let's go upstairs so when you go upstairs oh you have like the martial arts room so you can like practice martial arts over here you can also break the boards i'll bring the walls up just so we can see oh these are like, it's like glass so you can like look down at people. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. So you also have bathrooms in this corner and you have like another like break room type of area over here. We'll bring the walls down one more time. Yeah, so this one actually has like a table. The other one just had chairs, but you have a little break room right here maybe. And then you have the bathrooms. And then when you go upstairs again, whoa, is this like a boxing? Wait, is this like a boxing ring? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, your Sims can box. Maybe they could even wrestle, but I think it's a boxing ring. Maybe I could be wrong though, but you have a boxing ring, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you know places to sit the actual ring and then you have the foosball table over here in the hallway and then you have another bathroom upstairs so you have that all right so let's keep going on this way let's go ahead and check out the old station museum and then maybe we'll check out some of these homes right here since we're like right there to it so let's go ahead and check out the museum first all right y'all so this is the building on the outside and i do like that design of the brick like it's kind of like old smudgy maybe look a little bit burnt maybe <laughs> but i do like that design this building looks like it could be in appaloosa plains like it just it gives me that vibe right <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and scroll down and see what it looks like on the inside 
okay let's see so when you walk in you have places to sit over here you have a like kitcheny type of area with the microwave and the fridge and a coffee machine bathrooms in this corner you have some shelves with some like sculptures and artifacts and stuff like that on them so that's pretty cool bigfoot stand over here you have like the chest that came with world adventures where you can store stuff in the t-rex that came with generation so you have like a lot of nice nice little items in here <laughs> and then outside of the building you have like places to sit and stuff and then of course you have the train tracks which is pretty cool like I like the train tracks all around the world. That's that's pretty cool. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and let's check out some of these homes. We'll maybe look at two of these homes and then we'll look at some of these. I don't want to show off every single last house, y'all. So I feel like this is one of those like split houses where you have like this side is one house, this side is one house. So let's just go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, it is like that. So this side would be like an apartment or something like that. Or you could like buzz a symbol over here maybe. But anyway, so on this side, ooh, this is cool. Yo, this is, this is really cool. I like this one. I should have moved Elliot over here. <laughs> I'll show y'all who Ellie is in a bit. But anyway, so when you come in, you have a nice, a really nice, colorful living room. I want to be here. It's giving me like that club raver kind of vibe. Very funky, but in a good way. I like this. <laughs> so you have a nice living room over here with the fireplace and TV. You have a bathroom over here with, with the washing machine. I think that's the washing machine, right? Yeah, with the washing machine. And then you have a kitchen, which looks really cool and purple. Like, this is a cool house. Can I live here? <laughs> but a cool kitchen over here. You have an end table with the phone on it. And then let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, ooh okay everybody okay everybody's room is lit okay <laughs> you have like a nursery over here which is like that cool purple with the dinosaurs on the wall that's a nice touch this is like a nice little room you have a maybe this is like the kids room uh, yeah this is like the kids room so you have like the bunk bed with the toy box and a bookshelf and then you also have like the cool master bedroom so maybe this is like the parents bedroom or something it looks really cool futuristic i love that blue futuristic kind of vibe it's really nice so then when you go outside you have like the back deck with a place to sit you also have the clothesline so you can dry your clothes out here and then you probably could like put some planters or something out here maybe with some places to sit or grill or something if you want to like you know have it be more things back here so let's check out this home again y'all i do want to show off every home but like i kind of want to like keep things moving a little bit so we'll just check out this home so let's go ahead and scroll down because i want to see what it looks like on the inside so I oh so this house is like actually like an all-in-one basically so that other house only had like you could access one side this one appears you can access both sides so that's pretty cool so when, when you come in you have a nice living room over here with an office you have a washer and dryer out here by the back door you have a bathroom well, kind of like a half bathroom because you don't have a tub in here or a shower or anything like that you have the dining room over here in this corner which i like that design of the wall like i think i used this design in something recently <laughs> and then you also have the the kitchen over here which i like that red and white color scheme with the coffee machine in it so that's pretty cool all right so when you go upstairs ooh, okay wait, wait wait let's see uh let's start on this side so you have the like a big bedroom over here maybe this is like one of the master bedrooms maybe this could be the parents bedroom or a spare bedroom or whatever so you have a nice bedroom with the nightstand and the dresser you have a, a bathroom over here this corner a bedroom over over here maybe this is for kids or teens and then you have like another master bedroom so again you have like two master bedrooms so this could be the parents bedroom if this was a family house this one could be one or however you split it up <laughs> and then when you come out here in the backyard you have like a back deck with a like with a table out here and the clothesline so of course you could add more things out here if you wanted to i do like this like tree out here like the pink tree i do like that that, that was a nice touch <laughs> i'm tempted y'all i'm really tempted to check out some more of these houses but we got to keep moving we got to keep moving okay so a lot of these homes over here appear to be like very similar so we'll check out let's check out this one and this one so let's check out this one first so it does look similar to the other houses on this like on this street but let's just go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside because it might be a little bit different we'll check out two of the houses so we'll see but anyway ooh, this house is also kind of cool and i like yo what is with these nice houses in this world like every house i've seen so far i've genuinely loved i'm gonna plan this world one day y'all so when you come in you have a nice bedroom over here maybe this is like for a teen or just a young adult i don't know maybe it's just a cool bedroom you also have a kitchen area a kitchen area over here with the nice like countertops and the the like fridge and stove like y'all see that like reflective even on the table like y'all see that reflection okay anyway <laughs> really nice you also have a bathroom over here in this corner and then you have like the living room right here with the stereo and the tv and the couch and a chair over here also i will bring the walls up really quick just so we can see what it looks like with the walls up oh okay so you have like this nice big archway so this is like really like kind of like industrial kind of i do like it though like i really like this so let's go ahead and go upstairs oh it's lofted oh it's like a loft okay that's pretty cool so <laughs> when you come up 
the stairs, you have a, a bedroom up here. So maybe this can be like the parents' bedroom or just like, I could definitely see like a family living here or maybe like you have like a bunch of roommates living in together. I could definitely see that being the, the case also. But you have like the bed up here with the nightstands and the room divider and you have a dresser and a clothes hamper. So this is pretty cool. Even a, a little beanbag chair in the corner, which is pretty cool. So then when you come out into the backyard, you have the clothes line out here. But you could definitely add more things like I always say, y'all, places to sit, grill table, like a grill, countertops, anything that you want, you could just add, add more things out here. But now let's go ahead and check out the house directly beside it because this house looks like, I don't know, I get a, a different vibe from this one, okay? <laughs> like the backyard over here looks a little barren. This one looks kind of full. So let's check out this house. So right off the back, y'all, I'm thinking that this is like an older house because <laughs> like you have the fruit countertops, you know, that gives me like a 70s vibe, you know? 70s 80s vibe that gives that's what it's giving me but it, it's nice though like i don't hate it it's just a little dated you know <laughs> but you have like this really nice minty greenish kitchen area over here so you you know kitchen places to sit you have a nursery over here which is pretty cool with the butterflies and unicorns and all that you have the bathroom with the washer and dryer inside of it you also have a living room over here so you have a place to sit here place to sit here by the fireplace and you have like the record player which is pretty cool you don't have a tv i don't think you have a tv in here so you might have to put a tv in here if you want if you want one but let's go ahead and go upstairs so again this is also like lofted you have a bathroom over here you have a bedroom over here as well which is pretty cool with the mannequin yeah this is giving me like that 80s vibe y'all maybe like an older sim lives here maybe i don't know and then out here you know you have the sliding doors and you have like the grill look y'all you have a grill place to sit like i always say so let's just go over here next and let's check out the temple of ramakama and then we also have the jericho cemetery so let's check out the cemetery first all right y'all so we're at the cemetery and and right when you walk in you have the mausoleum so y'all already know so you already know y'all y'all can get a part-time job you can tour the mausoleum or you can also explore the catacombs and then apparently these appear to be where the graves are i want to say can we like scroll down so i can see oh and there was empty on the inside okay so maybe like the maybe like the graves are in here maybe but you do have like some that are out not, that are not in it so you have like a tombstone over here and you have one some over here so you know you could definitely come here and have your sims be late to rest a lot of space for that actually all right y'all so this is like a temple so let's just go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside because the outside is beautiful like i love the outside but let's go ahead and scroll down and see what it looks like on the inside so let's see when you walk in well, let's bring the walls up for a bit so just so we can see Ooh, okay tons of like archways and stuff let's see <laughs> so you have some boxes that can't order adventure so you can like store things you have like a little area over here where you can get coffee you have some rooms oh so this is like you could put like artifacts or something in here because these are like display like tables or something so you can like add artifacts up here if you want to so you can you have like a buffet table which is pretty cool so this is like a really cool venue you have like fountains in here that's pretty cool bathrooms in this corner and then you also have like a place where your sims can get married out here which is nice and you have nice fountains and a grill and places to sit at the, at the picnic tables you have like a little garden over here so you have apples and plums and pomegranates and pomelos so that's pretty good as well so if you need like a really good like lot maybe for events or like to place like artifacts and stuff you can definitely come to this temple so oh let's check out the beach okay let's check out this beach it's the free freeler beach let's check out this beach real quick since we're like right here by it right all right y'all so we're out here at this little beach area all right i see y'all okay beautiful view of the lighthouse you know again i'm just giving me that little dark cloudy vibe which i really like <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what's under here apparently there's a sim right here so i guess you can get food here is this a food register yeah so you can buy food out here if you wanted to you got a sim at work i forgot to mention if i didn't already mention it in the video this world is unpopulated but the creator does have sims that you can go and download i think they're on the exchange i think but it is linked down in the download page so if you want sim for this world you can you can have them or just wait for them to populate on its own so getting back to this you also have like a bathroom places to sit out here so this is pretty cool so if you need like a nice little beach lot or something for yourself to come to you could definitely do that let's go to the laundromat first so this is the la sock laundrette so let's check this out first all right y'all. so this is the laundromat let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside this is like a little lobby area but there are like elevators but let's keep going down below oh okay so i'd imagine it's down here then so this is where the laundromat is okay so you have like washers dryers places to sit you have a bathroom in this corner as well and you have like a little like kitcheny type of area you know with the coffee machine <laughs> not quite a kitchen but y'all know what i'm trying to say right just a place where you can like relax but um this is pretty cool i like the color scheme down here all right y'all so right beside the laundromat we have the delport garage so let's just see what this looks like it looks kind of like a gas station maybe so maybe this is where you can get your car fixed you know i feel like i've seen i've seen a lot similar to this before so let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside you of course you have like the gas pumps so these came with fast lane stuff so you will need that pack as well yeah you will need fast lane because this came with that as well but when you walk in y'all you have like shelves where you can buy items and an arcade machine you have a sim over here look like he's getting ready to go to work but you have like a food register over here you have the fortune cookie machine bathroom and then and here's like the actual like garage area so you can park your car here and like work on your car so to speak you know <laughs> um but you do have the um invented table over here as well so if you want to invent things you can come here and do that as well all right y'all so let's keep moving on so 
next we have the Azazels, Az Azels, uh, junk shop. So we have a junk shop right beside it. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like when you scroll down. Okay, so when you go down, you have, a, it's kind of similar to the other place, like the laundromat, where you have like a lobby in here with elevators. So let's go ahead and scroll down again. Yeah, so down here is like the junk shop. So <laughs> you can come down here and get some junk if you want to. You have like the consignment register. So this is like a consignment store, but you have like junk, so to speak. You know, I'm not saying it's junky or junk, but it's according to the lot description it's junk <laughs> but you do have like items in here of course you also have the nectar rack over here so if you want to get some nectar you can tons of little like sculptures and stuff like that on display really really nice you do have the chest table you know skill building item and darts so you can have fun down here if you want to and then you have like an office in this room you have the bathrooms over here so this is a pretty cool lot if you need the consignment store you know where to come y'all all right y'all so next we have the bar it's called fin gals so we'll check out this bar we'll check out the fire department and then we'll also check out the other bar beside it all right y'all so again it's similar to the other places that we've seen where you have like a lobby and then you take the elevator up so when you go up you have oh this is the bar yeah okay so you have like the bar so again you have the bar here with the bartender you can get food and drinks here if you want to places to sit all around you have the bathroom in the back you have some arcade machines you have like a little like lounge private lounge sitting area back here for those more intimate moments i would assume <laughs> and then you have the darts in here as well and then you have a dance floor over here with the wall speaker so if you want your sims to come down and bust a move you definitely have them come over here in this corner but um this is like a cool little bar like i can see my sims coming here you know all right y'all so now we have the fire department now right at the back the upstairs balcony is really nice like you have places to sit grills fire pit and the telescope so that's pretty cool nice skill building items y'all cooking and uh looking out uh, and the logic skill that's pretty great so let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside this is really nice and detailed y'all like i'm loving this so far so anyway you have like the fire truck and you have the truck and the fire truck over here you have the little inventing air table you have like a bathroom over here with like a laundry room you have a nice sitting area maybe this is like the meeting room or something like that and you have the office over here oh look they want an award <laughs> an award-winning fire department you have the gym over here with the with the uh treadmill and weight machines you have a trampoline out here and i think there's like an elevator also hmm. so let's go before let's go upstairs and see what's up here so when you go upstairs ooh, there's a lot up here actually let's see you have a kitchen area over here a place to eat food at you know at the table you have bathrooms over here another bathroom over here <laughs> with like the shower and the tub so that's pretty cool so if you need like tons of places to like wash up you have that here and over here in this corner you have the living room area with the game console and the tv you have the bookshelves as well so your sims can read and then when you go upstairs again you have the bed it's up here so these like you know so if you want your sons to go to sleep you can definitely have them do this if they don't want to go home or something you can actually have them come out come up here and sleep and then yeah so this is like a cool fire department though all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out this this is the bar so let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside all right let's see so the bottom floor when you walk in you have like a garage down here so you can like park your car you have space to add more things if you want to but you have the elevator so let's go ahead and go up all right so when you come in you have the bar over here in this corner which is pretty cool places to sit you have the foosball table and you have like an area for a live band which is pretty nice so you know you late night bands could come here if you want them to and perform and then there's also i think there's something else above this because you have like another elevator so let's just see if there's anything above it oh there is okay so up here are the bathrooms it's kind of lofted in a way you have the bathrooms back here and the arcade machines over here so if you want you know you can use the bathroom and play arcade games if you want and i don't know if there's anything else above it there isn't you have like an empty room so maybe you can add something up here if you want to but it does have a door that leads out to like the roof so you could definitely like add stuff up here on the roof if you wanted to i'd assume all right y'all so now we have like three things to look at so we have like the <laughs> Sulis Minerva Roman Bath. So we have that. We also have the Portland Breakers Yard and we also have the Alamira Battery Ruins. So let's check out this bath and then we'll, we'll check out these and then we'll check out this beach and then we have to get over here to this side of the map. All right, y'all. So I'm guessing this is like a community pool because I think that's what the symbol is, but it looks nice on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> so when you come in, yeah, this is a community pool, y'all. So when you come in, you have like a, a circular pool over here. You have places where you can like shower off you have a bathroom a little sitting area you have of course the big pool out here so your sims can come and swim and let's see you have a fountain over here a hot tub oh this is a room with a fireplace so maybe you can like warm up and stuff that's pretty cool so back out here like in the little courtyard area you have a little fountain over here and a little sculpture and what's in this room i missed it what's in this little room right here in this room you have oh a mermaid statue okay <laughs> so you have like a little mermaid statue in here that's pretty cool and then you also have like another little pool area over here so your sims can come and swim as well so tons of places to swim at on this lot all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out this junkyard real quick all right y'all so this is like a pretty cool junkyard though like i like the vibe out here like all you missing is like a junkyard dog <laughs> like literally so you have places to park you have the dumpster so you can dumpster dive tons of scraps so your sims can come and dig through there's even like a little like i guess this is a pond maybe it's a puddle it says no fishing but i don't think there's anything stopping you from it aside from the 
sign that says don't fish <laughs> but anyway you have like a little building over here so let's see what it looks like on the inside let's see so you have a bathroom and you have a desk and a bookshelf so i mean kind of like a little maybe office -y area there's a chainsaw on the wall so be aware of the chainsaw but <laughs> there's like a little sitting areas so you could put a computer in here if you wanted to and have it be like a little office -y area maybe this is like the the person that like oversees the junkyard or something that's pretty cool all right so now let's check out the grand grandver beach so let's check out this beach and then we'll check out the other lot that was over there but yo this is a cool little beach like look at the, the little like i think the, are these bathrooms maybe but, like look at how like they're how colorful they are that's pretty cool and look at the, the like the rock pebble design or whatever like the texture the terrain paint or whatever that's pretty cool like this is nice wait let's see. i think these might be the bathrooms oh no they're not they're like little like rest houses maybe so you <laughs> so you i think these are like supposed to be like changing tents maybe but anyway you have like a place to sit in this one you can drink coffee in that one you can change in this one you can use the bathroom in that one relax in this one play in that one so they all serve a different perfect purpose <laughs> but you do also have a, a place to grill and eat if you want to and then of course you have like the beautiful view of the beach i mean i like how it looks okay it looks nice to me <laughs> but yeah and of course you have like the fire pit out here as well and you also have like places to lounge out at which is pretty cool and now i don't know what this is is this like a house maybe let's see what the inside of this is oh it looks like a garage maybe this is like for boats maybe let's see what it's like on the inside let's see oh yeah so i think it's like a boat house i think it's like a boat house but you have like the bookshelf places to sit over here you also have the like kitcheny area with uh like the kitchen table stereo bathroom in the back and then when you go upstairs you have some beds so you could definitely have sims come and like spend the night here maybe all right so now let's go ahead and check out this area this is the elamira battery ruins so let's check out the battery ruins real quick all right y'all so we're at the battery ruins and it's giving me that little spooky kind of vibe that i was that i was looking for <laughs> it's giving me the vibe y'all let's go scroll down to see what the inside looks like oh wait so people actually work here yeah i thought it was gonna be abandoned for some reason i thought it was abandoned but people work here apparently so let's see you have the bathrooms over here in this corner with the sinks you have a place to shower and you have like a store in here maybe let's see you have the food register and you have the relics register so you can get food and relics here if you want to so maybe this could be like a little museum or something but you do have like tons of different things on display over here i guess you could probably buy these things <laughs> you could buy like the little drill or whatever all right so let's look out here really quick so you have like places to sit you can grill out here and eat if you want to and then i don't know what's inside this building let's see let's see uh i think this is just pretty much empty i think this is just for like set dressing or whatever yeah i think so you do have like wait you could come up here and step on something can you actually like trap like explore these y'all that'd be cool i think you can like, you might can actually explore these though we might have to do that one day y'all <laughs> we might have to do that one day so you can come up here and like build up here, up here if you wanted to on top of the building you could also come out here and look at the telescope all right y'all so we looked at a lot of stuff over here on the old side of jericho so let's go ahead and look at some of the newer stuff on the newer side of jericho so again i'm gonna try to stick to a lot of the community lots and we'll check out some of the homes we won't check out every single last home so let's go ahead and maybe we'll start down here let's start right here so let's look at the landale bamboo garden so let's check out the bamboo garden first yo this is a nice bamboo garden like hello this is nice like genuinely nice like i want this lot um this world is amazing y'all get this world i'll leave a link down below <laughs> but let's see you have like a little maybe like the beginnings of a zen garden maybe over here and you maybe have like a better one over here in this corner with the fountain you also have what's under here let's see what's in here Ooh, okay so you have the food register in here so you can actually have your sims come and get food in here if you want to you have places to sit out and eat the food you have the bathroom over here in this corner another like little zen area over here um and what's over here in this one so you have like a pond over here could you fish i think you could probably fish over here yeah i think that was a core fish y'all i don't think you're supposed to take those i think they're supposed to just be for good luck let's keep going on so uh, back over here in this corner i think this is supposed to be like a i don't know what this is supposed to be this is called the gazebo so let's see what it is from the map one more time it is apparently it's a lounge so let's just see what it looks like um on the inside okay so there appears to be stairs so let's go downstairs oh there is stuff down here wait let's turn on the lights oh this is nice wait a minute y'all like, let's see so when you come down you have like the bathroom the place to sit i think this didn't this come with high-end loft stuff this uh chair you might need high-end loft stuff too y'all but yeah so let's go ahead and go downstairs again so when you go downstairs again let's see you have the bubble blowing machine a fountain over there places to sit wall speaker so your sims can come and dance this is beautiful y'all i love this i love this uh lot you have a bar down here as well so you can come and get food and drink so let's go ahead and go downstairs again because i think there's something else below it oh and when you go downstairs again you have another bar down here another place to sit you have a fountain and you have a an aquarium over here so this is pretty cool you also have the dance floors y'all with the effects and wall speakers this world has so many places for y'all to just chill and hang out like literally <laughs> all right y'all so let's keep going on let's go ahead and while, while we're like right here in like this little park area let's go ahead and check out this so this is the, like, the landale park so let's check this out y'all look at this beautiful park it's giving me the fall vibes again y'all i'm getting the fall vibes one more time <laughs> i get them a lot but 
This world is definitely giving them to me today. Okay, let's see. You have a pond over here so some, your sims can come and fish. You have the chess tables. You have a place out here where you can grill and sit out and eat, which is pretty cool. I don't know what's inside this building what's inside here okay so the bathrooms are over here i turned the lights on so y'all can see so you have like the bathrooms over here this one you have another little pond over here so your sims can come and fish at this is like really nice like i love this place you can fish back out here if you wanted to and there's even like a little pier so your sims can come and fish over here if you want to y'all if you need to fish this world's definitely have you covered like you can fish pretty much everywhere <laughs> let's go ahead and check out some of these community lots right here so let's go ahead and check this one out so this is the hotel nodens so let's check this out and then we'll check out the little hangout over here so this is the Bermond Escapade pled so we can check this out so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so we have this dance club over here in this corner which it looks beautiful very it looks very modern also <laughs> let's just uh go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside all right y'all so i scrolled all the way down to the bottom floor can we turn on all the lights just so we can see turn on all lights there we go so when you come in there oh i like this like beaded design <laughs> that's pretty cool but when you come in you have a bar over here and places to sit y'all do know they use that like that digital aquarium object that came with late night i love using that object nowadays y'all it's so cool you have a dance floor over here which is pretty cool you also have like the elevators that lead upward so we'll check out the upstairs in a bit and then back out here in like the little courtyard area you have places for your sims to lounge out at and you have a jacuzzi places to sit out and eat your food if you wanted to and when you go upstairs let's see so when you go upstairs you have like a nice bathroom that's kind of reflective <laughs> really nice bathroom you have a little fish sculpture places to sit out here there's also like a swimming pool above it so let's go upstairs all right so when you go upstairs you have like another bar up here pl more places to sit you have a bubble blowing station over here and of course you have the elevators with the wall speakers you also have like an upstairs swimming pool yeah and, look, and imagine like diving on the water and you're looking at like the fish in the little aquarium that is cool that is genuinely cool all right so let's go oh, and look you even have like more places for your sim to lounge out so when you go upstairs again let's say you have places for your sim to sit so you have like a little walkthrough area with an arcade machine more elevators and more places for your sim to lounge out at at the balcony let's go ahead and go upstairs again there's so much in this on this lot y'all you have another swimming pool over here more places for your sims to lounge out at a uh, hot tub out here on the top and you have like a little changing type room right here with the lockers and a place to sit and again you do also have the elevators so like again tons of places for your sims to like lounge <laughs> and then when you go upstairs look even more places for your sims to lounge so you have like the upstairs uh like the rooftop so you can definitely have your sims come here to relax like it has a lot for you all right y'all so let's check out this place across the street from it it is the burnmon esque pledad uh, but we'll check this out right, y'all so this place is pretty cool it's described as a hangout so let's just see what it looks like on the inside there's a lot in here actually let's see you have the uh, some guessing it's like a consignment store like area because you have the consignment register but you have like a place in here so i guess you can like buy stuff and this side you have like a bar with like the arcade machines and the dartboards so you have like a bar on here over here on this side you have the bathrooms and then over here on this one you have can you buy food in here so i guess it's like a little like cafe or something you can buy food at there's also the buffet table and then over here on this side is the arcade with the arcade machines and shuffleboard which is pretty cool and then over here on the far end you have the bathrooms which is nice and you even can take showers here if you wanted to so when you go upstairs we'll start in the middle like we did last time so when you go upstairs you have like more things to buy up here you even have a bed so someone can go to sleep here if they wanted to so over here on the bar side you have like more places to sit and you got the foosball table another arcade machine and you can dance you have a wall speaker up here so you can dance if you want to up here on the cafe you have more places to sit as well with the uh coffee machine so you can get coffee here if you want to and then above the arcade you have more places to sit with the bubble blowing machine this is nice like maybe the kids can stay down below and uh, the adults can come up here maybe <laughs> you also have like a tv over here so your sims can like play games and stuff and watch tv if you wanted them to and then there's nothing above the bathroom section but let's go ahead and look in the, the back really quick so back out here on the back you have places for your sims to sit at you have a grill so you can eat out here if you want to telescope you have a pool and you have like lounge chairs so your sims can come and lounge and then down below by the beach you have more places for your sims to lounge at again a grill places to sit and chest table so you can raise some skill building items and then of course you have the beautiful beach <laughs> which let's check out this area over here next like why not let's check out that aerial oh this is over here on the old side of jericho how did i miss this let's check this out so this is the asylum but it's classified as a dance club all right y'all so we're at the asylum and i'm gonna imagine that the inside is probably better than the outside because it looks a little rundown i don't know if i would want my sims to come inside of here <laughs> like i don't know i might be kind of scared like we're missing a wall chunk right there <laughs> but on the outside you do have a, a food truck so you can come eat <laughs> and there's also like a pond over here I'm sure your sims could probably fish that's, that's also like tires in the water so i don't know but anyway let's check out the inside of the building <laughs> okay let's see so when you walk in oh you have the bathrooms over here you have a room in here maybe maybe it's like the front office or something maybe it's like the front office or whatever but i see so you have like a room in here okay so everything down here looks abandoned y'all so empty maybe this was the kitchen yeah maybe that was the kitchen because you have like the sinks in here so maybe this was like the kitchen -y area let's go ahead and go upstairs so it looks pretty abandoned oh okay so upstairs okay this is like the fun stuff 
bubble blowing machine over here big dance floor you also have like the bar over here so your sims can come and drink and eat wall speakers of course places to sit at you have a bathroom over here in this corner and some inaccessible rooms let's go upstairs one more time so when you go upstairs you have like oh so this is like where i guess the people would sleep at so this is like a bedroom bathroom over here in this corner tons of like empty rooms some of them you can't really ex access which is pretty cool all right y'all so we looked at the areas over here so let's check out some of these so let's check out this library so this is the gillsboro municipal library so let's check out the library first all right y'all so we're at the library now let's just go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside whoa there's a lot y'all this world has so much <laughs> let's see so right off the bat this is catching my eye you have like a kid's corner over here so tons of places for your sims to sit they can play on the activity table play with the dollhouse play with the stuffed animals this is like the kid's corner okay <laughs> pretty cool you also have like the front desk with the computers and you could also probably put more computers over here if you wanted to you have a place to sit over here so of course your sims can come and read over here in this corner when you go upstairs you have more places for your sims to sit at and read <laughs> you also have some desk so you could i'm guessing these are like work desk so your sims can maybe do homework or something over here but you could also put computers if you wanted to you have a bathroom over here more bookshelves let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs oh what's this like a tv room or something all right maybe it's like the little movie area or something so you have like the tv with places to sit more bookshelves of course places to sit over here so hey if you need your sims to watch tv at the same time you can come here and do that <laughs> all right and then when you go upstairs again you have chess tables y'all know skill building items my thing i love that oh and up here is where the computers are okay so you have to go like you have to go up a couple floors to actually use the computers so computer room so <laughs> you can have your i didn't think i didn't even think about the fact that you could put two computers at one table that's pretty cool i never thought about that that's a pretty cool thing though i'm learning stuff today y'all but anyway <laughs> you can have your sims come use the computers they can research or play games or whatever so tons of space for that this is a nice library you even have like some like balcony areas up here so you can like use a telescope and come and sit out which is pretty cool all right y'all so we also have the harpo club and then we also have the judith painter gallery so we'll check out that and then we'll also check out the the ink ink tattoo parlor and then we'll also check out these lots over here so let's go ahead and check this little lounge out this is pretty cool this is a nice lot like look at how industrial it looks and it looks kind of modern all right let's go ahead and open it up because i want to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come all the way down you have like a little parking garage which is pretty cool but let's go down below again so when you come down to the bottom floor you have a little lounge area bathrooms dance floor over here in this corner the elevator that leads upward you have a bar over here and places to sit down so this is like a nice lot let's go ahead and go up so when you come up here you have like another bar up here with the multicolored seats that's pretty cool <laughs> a little lounge area more places to sit you can even listen to the live band or your sims could come out here and perform if you want them to you also have place, like a fire pit out here so your sims can come in like roast food and you also have a place to sit over here as well when you go upstairs again you have a little walkthrough area i assume so you have like the elevator so you like you can come and sit down here if you want to look at some art you have the bathrooms up here as well and then out here on the balcony you have a place for your sims to sit and they can look out maybe at the library across the street from it and then when you go upstairs again so this is like vip top of the line not just anyone can come in here but when you could but if you can manage to get in you have <laughs> a hot tub another bar over here you have the bubble blowing station and you have places to sit down and then you also in the hallway i forgot to mention you have like a place where your sims can just come and sit maybe they can like look at all the other sims coming in if they can't get in themselves <laughs> but this is a nice lot now i want to see what this is beside it we want i want to see what that is because that looks nice all right y'all so let's come over here and look at this little art this art gallery now right at the back it looks beautiful like the color scheme the design of it very modern i'm here for it let's go ahead and scroll all the way down and we'll work our way up okay let's see so when you come in you have tons of like art sculptures and stuff on display you have a front desk over here with like a little re cast register you have a bathroom then when you go upstairs you have places to sit you can come and look at some of the art again more things on display you know it's an art gallery y'all <laughs> wall speaker so maybe your students can come and dance maybe maybe they won't get caught by the security <laughs> you let's bring up the walls because i think there's like a wall right here yeah so you have like more like art on display so you can come and look at that as well come and sit down your wall speaker this is pretty cool though then at the top you have woo, woo, this is really cool so you at the top you have like places to sit more things to look at and then over here i didn't even see this so how do i how would you get here okay the doors are down here so you have to go like to this floor this floor and come out a buffet table you have a coffee machine you can come out have your sims come out and eat like oh look at the scenery look at the scenery look at those red trees over here okay are these maple trees look at that look at that tree <laughs> like this is cool and then like at the top i didn't even, i don't even think i've seen this but at the top you have like more things up here on display so like this is pretty cool you can have your sim come and sit and look at it so this lot has tons of art if you need an art gallery you have it here all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out this so this is the ink ink tattoo parlor so let's check out this tattoo parlor all right y'all so we have the tattoo parlor it looks kind of cool on the outside let's go down and see what it looks like on the inside Ooh, okay let's see so when you come in let's do like the half walls okay so when you come in you have the register in here you have the table you have a chair where you can get a tattoo your tattoo 
2 done. You also have like a sink over here. You have the arcade machine and the lounge area back here. Bathrooms in this corner. A little walkthrough area over there. Another like tattoo room. It looks kind of dirty in here, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, look at that. Look a little grungy. <laughs> this is supposed to be the nice side of Jericho, okay? So I don't know. Maybe this was like an old building they just didn't refurnish or something. But anyway, when you come upstairs, you have like a little like recreational brick type of area. So you have like the the kitchen -y, the kitchen area. You also have like the foosball table, places for your sims to sit down at. And you have the speak, you have the uh, stereo with the bathroom in the corner. When you go upstairs again, there's supposed to be just empty space, like inaccessible rooms. I, I, yeah, so these are like inaccessible rooms. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to this side. We have the Dancing Dragon Academy, the Pool of Narcissus, uh, Beauty Salon, and then you have the Amberdale Education Center, followed by the Caltown Liquor Store. So you have a liquor store in this world. So let's check out the Dance Academy first. All right, so we have like the Dance Academy over here. So let's go see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, wait, this is nice. Y'all, I want to play in this world. <laughs> We're playing in this world at some point. Okay, I said it earlier, but we're saying it again. I'm playing in this world at some point. So we have like the little martial arts area over here so you can practice martial arts. You can break the boards if you want to. You also have bathroom over here and the showers, which is pretty cool. And then upstairs you have oh look chess table so you can practice uh you can like raise your um your logic skill which is nice and then when you go upstairs again you have oh you can come eat here if you want to so <laughs> you have a buffet, a buffet table a self-serving bar places to sit at you can even get coffee if you want to so like this is a uh, pretty cool though like this is a nice world and then you also have places for your sims to sit out here you have a wall speaker so your sims can come and dance if you want to and then up here at the top you have the like gym area so you can like use a treadmill weight machines dance if you want to you can also use the martial arts station over here and then you oh, break the boards if you want to you have a bathroom and like another little kitcheny area with the fridge so you can get a quick meal here if you wanted to all right so let's go next door and let's check out the pool of narcissists of beauty salon so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so when you come in you have like a nice waiting room with the computer desk and nice reflective plasticky couches i love that i love that so much <laughs> I love that design. You also have the aquarium, and then you also have a pool. So it the, the pool part didn't lie. You have a pool. So you places for yourself to lounge out at. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, ooh, wait, whoa, there's a lot up here actually. Oh, so you can get makeovers on both sides if you want to. You just have different color schemes. So this one is green. This one is like orange. You know, places to sit down. You can read books if you want to. You have a sink if you need it, and then you have the bathrooms in the back as well, which is nice. And then let's go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs again, you have a dance studio. I think this is like a dance studio. So you have like the <laughs> You have the stereo where your sims can come and dance and work out. You also have another like room over here so your sims can lounge and work out or dance or listen to music. And you have a like a bathroom over here where your sims can like relax and burn incense. So you have the tub in this room and then you have like the bathroom over here in the corner with the tub so you can like maybe wash off. And uh, so when you go upstairs again, all right, so when you go upstairs again, you have a nice little sitting area over here. You also have like the bathrooms in this corner as well. So let's go ahead and check out this building. So this is the education center. So let's just see what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, there's a lot in here actually. This is a nice education center okay let's let's turn on the lights all right let's see so you have like this is like a little library area so maybe you can come and study you have the chess tables over here so you can practice chess you have the elevators and bathrooms let's go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have like a computer room so you can like use these to study or like play, like play games or whatever you have an art room over here with the art tables so you can like practice art or even like research architectural design <laughs> you also have like a washroom over here so if you want your sims to come and like wash clothes you can do that you have a tv and like a sink and stuff in the shower and a stereo so you can listen to music as well then when you go upstairs you have like a music room with the drums and the keyboards and pianos you have like the bass and the guitar so that's pretty cool and then you have like places to sit over here and is there anything else above it oh there is so when you go upstairs again or you can take the elevator you have like a sculpting room with the inventing table and the like sculpting table you could even make nectar in here if you wanted to so like there's so this is like a good lot for skill building items y'all a lot dedicated to that i love that <laughs> and you know you also have bathrooms over here as well so that's pretty cool and then at the tip top you have the telescope so you can have your sims come out and look at the world jericho is beautiful let's go ahead and check out this so this is the cowtown liquor store so let's check out the liquor store really quick all right y'all so this is the liquor store so let's go ahead and see what it's like on the inside let's see so when you come in you have like the front desk over here so you can get the, the nectar aka liquor apparently <laughs> um but you have like the tons of nectar racks and stuff like that up here as well and then oh there's even like something below it wait can i turn on the lights all right so let's see when you turn on the lights you have something down here can't access this but there's something in here but you have like another like nectar rack down here as well but when you go upstairs you have a bar so you can come and get like a drink if you wanted to places to sit down at more nectar over here on these racks and then when you come upstairs you have like the bathrooms as well another keystone so you will need a keystone so i'd imagine there's something probably hidden in this lot i don't know but you also have a food truck back, back out here as well all right y'all so let me just show y'all really quick where i put elliot at because li listen y'all there's so much to look at this world but i'm sure y'all with the house that i put elliot at <laughs> all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot at it's like a nice little starter home i like the blue design of it let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have like a 
kitchen area over here with the bathroom. Let's turn on the lights. They have like a bathroom in this corner, a bedroom, and then you have like a little living room area over here. But if you don't know who Elliot is, he is my Tori God Sim. He is in all of my world overview videos. He was also in my Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So I'll, if you want to watch that series, I'll leave it linked down below. But let's check out this house beside it since it's like right here to it, you know? So let's go ahead and check this one out. Again, I think this is also like a starter home. So when you come in, you pretty much have like everything you need. You got the bathroom, like sitting area, living room, kitchen, and then you have the bedroom right here. So it is like a one bedroom, but then it has like a nice little back area. So you can de definitely add more things back out here if you want to. You know what? Let's just check out all these homes right here. So let's check out this yellow one next. So let's see when you come in, you have like a sitting area, bat bedroom up here, bookshelf. You could slide indoors to put more stuff in the backyard, bathroom, bedroom, secondary bedroom. So you can like have a family here if you wanted to, or if you have multiple Sims that could live here. And you have like the kitchen, which I love that yellow color. Like this house is nice. <laughs> all right. And let's check out this like pinkish one over here. So let's check this one out. All right. Let's see. So when you come in, you have a bedroom, bathroom, another bedroom over here, sitting area. And you also have like the kitchen table with the, the kitchen. So this is pretty cool. Oh, let's check out this. I missed this. This is the Bintree Farm. Bintree Farm. So let's check this out. It looks like it's a lounge. So let's just check this out really. Y'all, look at how spooky this looks. Like, look at that fog. <laughs> like, that's not even a place to fish out in the back. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Okay, let's see. So, all right, so let's see. At the top, there's like nothing up here. You can, you can, you can come and sit if you want to. But let's see. When you go down, there's nothing down here. And down here are bathrooms. So let's turn on the lights. So the bathroom's down here, which is pretty cool. When you go down again, oh, there's a bar down here. Okay, so yeah. Oh, look. There's even a dance floor so you have a bar and a dance floor down here places to sit so hey if you want to come out to this like this area you could definitely do that y'all like i'm not gonna stop you you even have like a little barn area over here yeah with the hay and stuff so that's pretty cool so like this is a nice interesting lot y'all <laughs> you even have like a place where you can like have your horse come and look to just stay i think they can like probably drink from that but yeah this is a interesting spooky kind of lot very spooky but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again there's so much that we didn't even look at y'all like look at these homes we didn't even get a chance to look at them but i have been recording for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and just go y'all look we didn't even look at some of this stuff look at that if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below again this world is called jericho it's amazing i definitely want to play in this world sometime soon so i'm gonna leave a link down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any more world suggestions please be sure to leave them down below i will definitely be sure to take them into consideration forgive me if i haven't looked at any of the ones y'all suggested yet i'm getting around to them y'all just give me some time but anyway y'all that's all that is all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching